Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. I have an application that adds a new to-do to the uh, backend by going through the UI. So it types, I see the new to-do has been added, and I can see that the application performed a HTTP request. It posted the new to-do to the server. I can update my code to spy on that to-do to make sure that it happens. Right before I use the UI to add the to-do element, I will spy on the intercept using POST method and anything going to the endpoint slash to-dos. I'll give it an alias add to-do. Using this alias, I can wait for add to-do to make sure it really happens. And it does happen. Now my next call is to make sure that whatever is sent follows certain If I look at the weighted intercept, it contains the request and response. I'm interested in what my application is sending to the backend. So I'm interested in the request object. There are headers, the URL, and so on, but I'm interested in the body of the request. I can see that it has completed false because by default new to do's are incomplete, but title I entered new to do, and a randomly generated ID that my application is generating. So if I want to confirm this object, I can try the following. From the intercept, I will grab the request object, and then I'll grab its property body. And what does it give us? Well, it gives me an object with a title, ID, and completed. Okay, I can try maybe adding an assertion like should deep equal. And what do I know? Well, I know the title, new to do. I know the field completed is equal to false. And I don't know the ID because it's randomly generated. Now we can stop math random in this case because that's what my application is using, but usually we cannot do all that. So somehow I have to confirm that my application is sending two fields out of three. So look at the message that we get in the case of an error. Expected object title completed dot 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 to deeply equal title completed. So the default assertion deep equal doesn't really give me a lot of information to work with if it fails. Well, I can get around this particular error by saying it should deep include and just specify the fields I know. In this case, it does show, hey, this is it, but it still is imperfect. First of all, it doesn't print the expected object. Look at this. It just prints the last assertion should have the property completed with value false. Well, what about the title? doesn't show the title. So here is a better solution in general than using deep include or deep equal. There is this module, a plugin for Cypress called SciSpark. It's a wrapper around first and Spark object. And Spark is like very smart assertion. For example, if you have an object and it have a bunch of, has a bunch of properties, if you know that, for example, property one should be a number greater than one, you can say one, Spark greater than one. If you know that it's uh, between two and four, you can say Spark range. There are lots of little utilities that you can specify the condition or type of a property rather than its value. If you want a value, of course, you can just say in a property two should have value two. So let's use size Spark in our assertion. We can go into the application and install size Spark using npm or yarn. The current version that I install is 1.4.1. And then inside of our spec file, let's see how we use. We just import Spark from size Spark, okay. And whenever we use should, we just specify Spark and give it an object of values, of values, an object of values. So right here, instead of deep include or deep equal, we'll say Spark. And it's an object, and we'll just let's just see what it does by default. Okay, so by default, it just lists all the properties in the expected object with its values. If we don't know the actual value, like ID, we'll say spark, it should be a string. And now it says, okay, here's a value of ID property and satisfies spark string condition. Excellent. If we specify something incorrect, let's say a number for some reason, it retries, so it retries a built-in, and then it fails, and it shows all the properties that have expected values 
and the property that doesn't satisfy the condition spoke number. So the error messages are extremely useful. Okay, so this is a string. Uh, we can say, well, we don't know the title, but it should be a Spock uh, starts with, let's say, new. So we can have pretty interesting uh, conditions. And the cool thing about Spock is that it allows you to nest objects. So if we had a subfield, we could say, let's say, person, last name, Spock string, and first name, you know, Spock string, and so on. So in a single shot, we can generate a very complex expected object with sub-properties, sub-objects, even arrays of values that the entire request body should satisfy. So let me remove all the extra stuff. And this is how you would use SizePack to simplify how you write assertions against complex objects in Cypress.